Happy third year anniversary, WGCF. In this unrivaled time, let us be encouraged about rebuilding while resting. Let us learn from the life of Nehemiah. In Nehemiah 2, the king asked him, Why does your face look so sad when you are not ill? This can be nothing but sadness of the heart. I was very much afraid, but I said to the king, Why should my face not look sad when my city where my ancestors are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been destroyed by fire? In verse 4, the king asked Nehemiah, What is it? you want. Then he, Nehemiah prayed to the God of heavens, and he answered the king, If your servant has found favor in his sight, let him send me to the city so I can rebuild it. You see, this story is a type of shadow of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Old Testament stories ultimately is one large arc that moves forward all towards Jesus Christ. The story of Nehemiah is the story of our ultimate Nehemiah. He left the comfort of glory and of heaven to identify with us in our ruins, to even suffer for us, to make us citizen of the heavenly city, and to rebuild us and give us rest in him. Nehemiah is not just following a pattern of rebuilding a city, but he longed to work so that God could do his work through his people. As Christians of the 20th century, we are on a specific stage of salvation history where we are called to be builders of walls. We are called in building a different kind of city as Christ works in us and through us. And WGCF, that is exactly you are called for in this time. This is what you are doing in this time of turmoil, of ruins, of fear and uncertainties. A time where we can meet in person, a time where we are bound in our own homes. WGCF is used by God in these ruins to commit to rebuild the walls through prayers and reaching out to people and maximizing the use of social networking to build and expand the purpose of God in reaching out and to take the gospel to the nation. WGCF, we've seen your work. We've seen how God called you as a corporate in action. You are, you are builder of walls. As you continue to discover the talents of each one of you in the body of Christ, you are moving from I to us, from one single vision to now increasing, growing visions by functioning in different ways, but together side by side as one family. You were made for a greater purpose. You were made to rebuild. Your different kinds of vocations or callings matters to God. You will prosper even in the midst of ruins, discouragement, threat, fear, and even deadly viruses. For you are called as builders of ruined walls. As you open your mouth and wide open your arms, walls of discouragement, fear, threats are being cast out and demolished, and the walls of faith is being rebuilt. And the key dynamic of your breakthrough is rebuilding through resting in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one working through you. From the bottom of our heart, once again, happy anniversary, WGCS. Happy anniversary. We love you. We love you. This is from the Margaris family. From our home to yours. 1 Corinthians 12, verses 12. Through 14. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one Spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one Spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the ministry of WGCF, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you, you've called WGCF to do your work, Lord, to share your love, to share the gospel. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would use WGCF for your glory and your honor, and that you would use each one of us as the many parts of the body to accomplish your will. 
We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your saving grace. We thank you for what you've done on the cross, Lord, to bring all mankind to you. We praise you. We honor you. We just ask, Lord, that you would send us out into the world, that we would be the salt and the light, yes. that we would be free in your spirit yes. to do your work. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.